are live. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> hey, hey, what's going on, everybody? Ah. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I think that we should have a moment of prayer. I, know. <laughs> <Before we start. laughs> I really do. <laughs> oh, MJ, oh. let me try it. I was trying to actually share the event to my page. For those people that don't like to go over to the Hot Topics page, you know, they lazy as hell. And all I'm doing is spoiling them. By making it easy, oh. you know. Oh, so how was you guys' day? Long. Over. Oh, Amen. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So tonight we'll we'll be using all Christian slang. Amen. Is that what we're doing tonight? Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord, because we will be sinning. <laughs> oh. Not that we have, we will be. Oh, MG. So I do want to welcome everyone to tonight's uh, show here on uh, HTTR TV. Uh, those beautiful people right there, that's Roland D and Miss Yvonne Baker, and we are looking forward to a lively show. You hear me? Lively. Oh, uh, yeah. We don't get distracted by lightning. We'll be all right. <laughs> well, I think it's all Roland D's fault, right? Because it starts with his page. Yep. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and I guess he's not going to take any blame for it. Look at him trying to look so innocent. Hey, <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Yeah, so I want to know now, Roland, do you have some interesting comments on your page when you posted that <laughs> that little uh doodad? <laughs> what, what's one what's one that sticks out in your mind though? Oh wow. It, it was so many of them. Um, I, I didn't even read. I didn't even read all of them. I mean, it was they just kept. I mean, you know, they go like a whole day after, you know, even after the fact. I mean, so after it's after a day old, I really don't usually go back if it's a day old. I just let people just, you know, keep going back and forth and talking and you know, so forth. But uh, I, it was some interesting. Um, it was some interesting <laughs> comments. The ones I did go through. Um, well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to get to it right now to see here. Um. Hmm. Oh, here we go. <laughs> you said one that sticks out. Uh huh. Well, one person said, "Hell no." <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> right. Hell no. <laughs> one person said that'll be a um no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, one person oh said, "Oh my gosh!" One person said, "Unfortunately, I did date a minister, but it was a huge mistake. My baby was parting. My baby was the parting gift, and he's a, a, a severe deadbeat." Oh damn! Ooh. Yeah, wow. she kind of oh. in. Another person said, um, "If he's truly for the Lord and not just him and for himself, yes." So she said she would date um, one. Mm -hmm. Another person said, "Hell no." That's too hell no. <laughs> Any hell to the nose? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, here's here's an interesting one. Somebody said no, especially if he's like anything like Reverend Lonnie Love on Martin Lawrence. Remember Reverend <laughs> Lonnie? <laughs> oh. Okay. Well. Okay. Okay. Here's a good one. Okay. Here's a real good one. Uh, one person writes. She says ministers are nothing but wolves in sheep's clothing. People date them daily without the title. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Wait, before you go on, I'm gonna try to address some of the comments already. So hello, Miss Jacqueline. It's good to see you. Uh <laughs> she says, Praise God. Uh yes, <laughs> praise God. Uh hey Malcolm, good to see you. 
Pastor, I'm hoping that you're able to see the show because he says that he went to the page and didn't see the show, but he's on here now. So uh, I'm hoping he's he's watching in and and uh, I can't wait to see his comments. Uh, but what's going to be interesting, because, Pastor, I'm going to ask you this. If you have a camera, if you have a camera that uh, will access tonight's show, I want you to download the app. It's called Be Live, B-E-L-I-V-E be live tv dot tv okay and then i'm going to send you the link so that you can join tonight's show this will be the first time we'll have pastor ray on camera <laughs> i can't wait um also uh kenny jordan he says that uh he couldn't find the show and kenny i think if you're already sending your comments i think that you're already on the show we are live right now on camera <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, Pastor Ray's over there laughing it up. <laughs> of course he is. Of course he is. Uh, also, Miss Jacqueline, right out the bat, she says she would just make sure, like anyone else, that he is the right one. Huh? Uh, well, that's a that's a pleasure. That's a pleasure. Okay. So, so uh, before we get really deep into this, because, you know, I'll forget to mention the sponsors and I want to do that right off so that uh, we won't go to sponsor hell. Um, so <laughs> if it's such a thing, uh, sponsored by Shades of Africa and two locations in the city of Corona and in the city of Long Beach, also sponsored by SPMG Media, Miss Gina Smith. Thank you. Um, Reggie Kearney, the Urban Sentinel. Thank you, Mr. Reggie Kearney. And of course, Miss Stephanie Warren Jenkins of FES Protection Plan. For more information regarding all of our sponsors, head on over to our website at hottopicstalkradio.com slash sponsors. All right, so we got that out of the way. So Pastor Ray, I want you to be able to send me a message every now and then telling me if you're going to download the app so I can send you that link so you can be a part of this uh, camera show. All right, so Roland D., what would made you? What would make you even post that? Did you find it that interesting? Because I mean, again, I mean, Tony, my page is an informational page. I mean, when people come to my page, ah, oh, shit, here we go, Dolly. To, you know, <laughs> oh my god, to gain knowledge, they also come there to also, you know, learn. And if anyone who read this post, it was a lot to learn because to hear some people's perception. And hear others. It's always good to bring people together. So something I started doing was each evening I want to bring, I want to get a, a topic together that everyone can discuss. My page. Uh -huh. I figured that'll help expand my page. That's gonna help open my new page. I'll be opening up soon. Rolling the um, go live. So y'all look out for that. Um, Dalai Lama. So, yeah, go live. So, <laughs> so you know, uh, but this 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 question was this is something I've been having in my in my. Um, like in my parking lot for maybe like six, seven months now. I just never posted it. But um, I always, really? kept, yeah, I always kept this. I keep stuff I write down for like, I got stuff I got, I wrote down from years ago where I may have pictures of different stuff I want to talk about. I just save it. So to the right time. And I thought this would be a good time. You know, it was on a Sunday, you know, a Sunday evening. So I figured. <laughs> <laughs> How apropos. <laughs> <laughs> I figured I, I figured I'm posting on a Sunday, you know. But it's, it's an interesting question because someone actually asked me this question as well, and I'm like, you know, with me, I'm like, I don't know if I can really did a minister because, you know, of my of um, you know, I, I kind of indulge in you know different in avenues that may not be quote unquote you know appropriate to others or sin to others. I mean, one person asked, well, you know, if you're dating. A minister that that includes sex, right? I'm like, right. So, I mean, how would that work if it's not sex before marriage? So, I want to know that too. I want to know that too because that's why I'm trying to right now, Pastor. I'm trying to send you the link <laughs> so that you can join us on camera. I am trying to do that right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> hang on. You I'm gotta, serious. You gotta, you gotta I want because again, you know, if you're dating, and then you know, certain things in today's 2018 dating world may be different than the dating world back in the 70s or the 80s. It's a whole different ball game now. So, even if you are a minister, quote unquote, 
I know some brothers who say they're ministers, and they be doing a lot of ministering, all right, but I mean, that's a whole different show, you know, um, within itself. So, you know, uh, let me heal you, let me put my hands on you, and let me, you know, <laughs> <laughs> let, let me pray. Let me pray. Let me pray for your sister Betty. I mean, okay, you be praying up here. You be praying over here. I mean, keep your hands up here. I mean, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's what I'm really trying to send this link. <laughs> But see, yeah. this is the problem. <laughs> Roland G and Yvonne have this thing <laughs> just saying something that just sends me there. And then I no, can't because, I mean, again, these are logical. I mean, and I don't really want to go too deep in, on my polls. I want to see what others have to say. But when I had this conversation with a person, I had a conversation with these kind of things we were touching on. But I didn't want to write all that in my post. I wanted other folks to interact and talk. And as you can see, yeah, people who don't even know each other on my page, but they get together, interact, they talk, they have dialogue, and that's what I like, and that's what I really want to create is something that brings dialogue. And this was the um, this was really for the Christian people on my page, really. But of course, a couple of sinners jumped on this post, so it kind of messed with me. <laughs> well, no, or no, because I try to have a balance on my page. You know, I got some for the brothers. I have some for the sisters. I have some for the hooligans. You got some for the Christians. Right, right. So I want to mix it up. And, and, I the and for the sinners. Right. <laughs> you know, on 420, on 420, I have some for the 420 day people, you know, coming up this Friday. I don't know if oh, you guys know. Well, you know what 420 is, right? I'm pretty, yeah. I have right. a son. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. So, <laughs> So you know, and, and he recognizes every year. That's like you know, celebrating Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> well, right. So you know, I, I, I had some for them folks. You know, you just gotta really. One thing I've learned, you know, um, on this platform is you gotta kind of expand to all people, and I get a good, a great joy doing that for different people because a lot of times, you know, I get a lot of inbox messages that people say, you know, I was having a bad day or a rough week and. I read right. some of your posts and some of your things and uh, uh, was interacting with this person. We had a great conversation off your page. You know, we was able to talk and communicate and further our, you know, our conversation. And that's a beautiful thing because you're bringing people together, you know. Um, and it's not always just for bad or negativity. So Okay. Thank you, know. you Dolly. Oops. I appreciate that. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to turn this to Yvonne before I turn it to myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of Yvonne, I think she commented on oh. it too. Yeah, she she has. I mean, so I'm looking at it right here. Okay, that's exactly. So that's where we're going to start. Because you know, <laughs> right. I didn't comment. <laughs> I wasn't going to dare comment. So I'm going to turn it to Yvonne right now. So good evening, Yvonne. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> so, tell us about. I was trying to stay quiet in the cut. Ain't no such I'll... thing here. <laughs> you forget about that. That shit don't work here. <laughs> it just don't work. <laughs> so the question oh my gosh. Okay, so the question is: Is now I noticed that on Roland D's post that. Your response, which is not not normal, it was abnormal because it was short <laughs> yeah, and it was right. concise. Right, right. Which, to me, which means to me, and I'm sure it means the same thing to Roland D, is that when it's short and concise, there is some hidden meaning in there. Mm -hmm. It meant exactly what it said. Hey, I have answered his question. <laughs> Would you date? A minister, I said, I have. Okay, so stop right there. <laughs> you just now see my lips leave, move any, any further. <laughs> <laughs> so, can I ask you when this was? Was it recently, no. or was it like years? Okay, so it was years ago. Yeah. So, what was this on the West Coast by any chance? Uh, yes. You see how matter-of-factly she is right now, Roland D? Right. 
See, this is where I'm going to tear into her ass. Okay. <laughs> oh, the West Coast. Okay. <laughs> All right. West Coast. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to do that. Is it is West uh, Coast? Okay. okay. So anyway, so it was on the West Coast. Mm. And was this some chance meeting that like you met him in a grocery store or did you see him and <laughs> look at Dee's face or did you meet him at church? No, actually he hired me in the car business. Oh, he hired her. <laughs> look, I am not stormy. So <laughs> <laughs> let's get that straight right now. Okay. Oh, okay. So now, how did he approach? No, let me go back. Did you know that he was a pastor at the time that you met him? No. Okay. So did you date him first or talk to him like for a long period of time before you found out that he was a pastor? No, actually, we were friends. He had Okay. He had he hired me into the business, into the car business. Okay. And we were friends. I mean, it was not, it was my what? boss. He was my friend. And your pastor? Huh? Okay. Well, I'm lost. <laughs> you, you, you can be a. Did we haven't gone anywhere? How could you get lost? He's a minister, not a pastor. Okay, he's a minister okay. with a car dealership. Yes. Oh wow! Jack all trades, and again. <laughs> yeah, he did very well in the business. Oh, so what kind of business was he doing? I mean, he was selling cars. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Damn, what kind of business do you do at a car dealership? I don't know what kind of car dealerships you've been to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so uh, getting back to this. Now, he was your boss. He was a minister. And he he was a, a business owner, okay. No, he so was, he was a manager of the dealership. He oh, he was a manager. Business. Okay, so being the manager of this business, how did it come about that he then told you he was a minister? Um, it's like you have a conversation, and he was telling me about his 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 uh, his. And this was further on down into, you know, my working at the dealership. He was telling me that his. So, so he never asked to pray with you privately. I mean, he never actually like or lay hands on you. I mean, he never asked to pray with you in private or lay hands. I mean, he just. Why would he be yeah. trying to lay hands on her when he first met her? You know what, ministers, uh, people of the church. They are human. They have friends. They have family. They have relatives. I mean, and all of them, you know, is, well. Right. But they are human, you know. They're, yeah, they're, they're human. They're, all right. That's, a, that's our whole they're, point. That's the point of the post. They're human. That's the point. Yeah, they're human. They're 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 people. Of course right. they people are. That you yeah. That be friends with. Yeah. Okay, but okay, but you said okay. Well, let's back up a little bit. Okay, you said you dated him, right? This was further on. Back. I'm answering Tony's question. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Okay, okay, you go. Okay, okay. okay, I'm sorry. Roland D trying to rush you. He's like all excited over there. Look at him, like a little kid. He bouncing up and down. He waiting for the answer. <laughs> I told you I'm understanding. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, do, do you do? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I was listening. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, now, were you guys getting close to the point where it was you were dating? Um, that probably came about maybe a year and a half later. A year and a half later? Oh, my God. That's moving yeah. slow. Oh. <laughs> well, damn, D, I didn't go. He didn't hire me, and then we just jumped in the bed and started getting our business on. Uh oh. Yes. Cut to the chase. I got a surprise for you. I got a surprise for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
Okay. Oh. There he is. What's hey. going on, oh, Pastor oh, Ray? <laughs> hey, guys. You guys hear me? Yep. What's yes, going on? Yes, we hear you fine. Okay. What's going on? <laughs> so, like I said on my uh, promo video, I'm going to try my best to be practice. good. <laughs> you won't. You won't. We're going to be good. I promise. Look, Yvonne okay, and Dee are going to be good. And, and, and Roland said it all. And I'm afraid, but okay, let's, let's go for it. Let, let's jump in. So we're still trying to get the gist of Yvonne's dating with this minister. Don't give us that look, Yvonne. <laughs> we're trying to still get the gist of it. So you started dating? Yes, no? Yes, we started dating a Approximately a year okay. after I started working at the dealership. Okay. Okay. Well, you asked <laughs> the question. <laughs> okay. So now, how did you feel about dating a minister? Right. He was a man first. I mean, he was I a get minister, it. but he was Great. a man. And I. Dating a minister was no different than made it, than dating an average man. I mean, so, uh, man, it, it's well, well it's, because, it's like this. were you dating the minister or were you dating the man? All right. And I like to say that because at the end of the day, when you meet, when I meet, um, say, for instance, a nurse, I'm not dating the nurse or the vocation. I'm dating the individual. That's, that's I it. get that. The, uh, you have, there's <laughs> qualities. Okay. You've got uh, uh, ministers, pastors, whatever, have qualities. They have a personality. They have, uh, you know, they have jokes. I mean, it's not, it's not, <laughs> you know, we're, we're sitting in the restaurant and he's sitting there saying, you know, uh, let me pray for you, you know, all this, all this stuff. I mean, it's dating a man. So did he ever pray for you at any time at all? I mean, did he ever say, Bob, let's let's sit down and have a prayer? <laughs> I mean, I mean, and I'm not being funny. No, no, no. <laughs> no, I'm not being okay. funny by saying that. We put, we put, this, <laughs> you know what? This is not that show where did your pastor or minister lay hands on you? No, 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 but no, no, but I, I don't mean it. Oh, yeah. Like, this no. is, not wait a minute, hold up. This is, would you date a man of cloth? Okay, you're right. 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 You know so what? I'm, she I'm, is. I'm saying, I'm saying I dated a minister. Okay. Okay, that's fair. That's fair, Tony. Did we? Did we pray okay, yes? so we did we pray? Yes, we did pray. When okay. We dinner. We blessed. He blessed the food. If we were at okay. Home, well, that's. I fixed dinner. Well, that, well, that, well, that was my question. Well, that, that was my that, that was my question. <laughs> I mean, that's all I want to know. I mean, and I wish I'd be funny saying that. I would just like say that was just, you know, just did he? We got to say that because, well, no, 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 I'll keep it to myself. No, never mind. Go ahead. No, you can't no. do that. Oh, man. You can't do that. You can't say, oh, I'll keep it to myself. Well, because I've heard other stories, but, but it was really long. It really long. I was asking that. It was really long. This question Why wouldn't you date a man? Why wouldn't you date a man of a cloth? Who, me or Yvonne? Or anyone. Okay, know, as, as so God, why are we exempt from love, from affection, from companionship? Exactly. From Nobody is saying that. Okay, so <laughs> I'm gonna try and share something with you. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna take you down a take you down a walk. <laughs> Come it's, with me, because Tony. Now you look like a good church. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Tony, you know what? Tony, you just give me an idea. Tony, you might need to go to church. You might need to go to church, Tony, on a Tony Sunday. Tony looks like she has experience. What does that's that mean? Like to Yvonne, oh. but Tony fits the, the Wait a minute, what about Yvonne? Let me stop. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to play now. I'm just going to be uh -uh. nice. No, Pastor Ray. No, you got to go back. Just like Roland D., he could not not say. 
Yeah, but I shouldn't say that. <laughs> no, say that. I, I no, know. I want to hear it because you know what? It might lead me into what I was going to say. Uh, Tony, I, I don't think you need much leading, baby. When you want to go where you want to go. <laughs> Let's bow our heads and pray. Yes, 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 Pastor. Yeah, <laughs> but here's the thing. I'm a man of God. I'm funny. Mm -hmm. I'm handsome. I'm stable, mm -hmm. you know, somewhat a guy of means. I'm generous. I'm caring. All of those qualities have to do with me as an individual. However, right. vocationally, I do happen to be a pastor. The, the key becomes this. It's not would you date a pastor, but would you date a man or a woman, for that case, um, who vocationally is a man of the cloth. Because at right. the end of the day, when I come home, I'm, I'm not trying to preach when I come home. Thank I'm not you. trying to when I come home, you know, and and, and and I mean, this is an adult show, right? So yeah. I'm getting ready to, to, to have sex and knock the wife down. Uh, we, we, we're not discussing John 316. I know how to handle it, touch it, kiss it. You know, <laughs> she's looking for the experience of the man she's married. So when I'm putting right. it down, she gets an extra layer because I am so gifted and I am so anointed. <laughs> but at the you end of the day, I she see. is married to a man. <laughs> <laughs> now, maybe that, 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 that's more than my church can handle. Jesus help us. But, you know. This is a time for <laughs> prayer right here because this shit is getting deep. You can't say that as a pastor on here. Well, why can't he? He's why not? A man. Why not, Tony? Why not? Yeah, why Tony. He's a man. He's a man, Tony. Why not? Tony, when you was dating the preacher, did, did, I mean, I'm sorry. Did, I, okay, I, first of all, first of all, <laughs> I didn't man. date him, and I'm going to tell you the way it went, okay? Oh, well, did. Did. So, no, no, okay, so <laughs> this person was, he was pursuing me. Okay. 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 And... The first thing he thought he could do was tell me what I should and should not be doing. Uh, as a pastor, you can say what you want to do and say. you. As a man, you can say what you want to say and do. That's fine with me. But don't come to me as a pastor and say, oh, sister, you need to do this and you need to leave this alone. And the mm -hmm. worse I got with this person, the more he pursued me. Because I, I just speak my mind. I've always been that way. So he would tell me, oh, you need to stop smoking. You need to stop drinking. You got to stop partying. Oh, shit, please. Uh, like I told him, he was like, oh, you would make a good first lady. <laughs> I told him I would run every bitch out of that church because I know what goes on in this church. <laughs> I, <laughs> and the more I talked... But that way, the more he pursued me, wow. the more the he pursued trying me. To get you saved. That's what it sounds like. He was trying to get you saved. He wanted you to become saved. He wanted to deliver you, to get you delivered. Yep. And in the process, I was saved. <laughs> oh. Well, he was definitely trying to get you delivered then. <laughs> deliver me where? <laughs> Anywhere where you at. But like I said, the more... The more I talked bad to him, and the more I mean, I would talk bad, okay. And it was just who I who I am. I'm still that way. Hmm. But what the, you the kicker? The kicker was. I'm sorry. Is when I'm I'm sleep. Phone rings. I look at the clock. It's two a.m. Hmm. And he's like, "Hey, what you doing?" Clock and I'm like, and I just straight wrong, told him. I, I straight told him. The man calling a woman I don't give a him. shit at two o'clock. You could be anybody. I don't care. Okay, let, me, let me ask you a question. Two o'clock and you has any man ever called you at two o'clock and you welcomed it? <laughs> Come on now, you be talking to the man of God. Let's be truthful. <laughs> has any man ever called you? At 2 a.m. and you welcomed it. And rang the doorbell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> wow. But, no, but, but it's 
like, because I thought my mother was going to have a stroke because she was like, you can't say that to a pastor. But then I'm thinking, well, she's just as bad as I am because she had came and she visited, right? And she, he, he told her, he said, I hope you come on back. This crazy woman, my mother, y'all hold service too long. <laughs> y'all just hold too long. So I thought he'd probably think all of us crazy. But like I told him, when he called me at two o'clock in the morning and asked me, oh, well, what, what you doing? Do you sound like that? Nigga, yeah. Oh, well, like, okay. well, I'll be honest. I couldn't I help single, myself. When I, I could single, not help I myself. myself. At, at two o'clock in the morning, a woman I was interested in or dating, I would call uh, late at night. Doesn't mean that anything indecent was going on, but uh, I am a man. I did want to talk with her. I did want to enjoy her company. It doesn't oh. mean we, we wanted to do anything. All right, Pastor Ray. Have an impropriety, but <laughs> man, right, Pastor Ray. That, that's something I wanted to do. Now, now here's the thing that you got you, you got to put in perspective. I'm a man first. I've been a man yes. a than I've been a preacher. Okay. So I've been a man at that time for 27 years and a preacher for three. I can't undo in three years what I've developed in 27. So there's a man that I need to develop and that I need to work out and that I need to discipline so that it makes me not only a better person, but a better minister, a better pastor. But I think the, the, the perception that people have is they, they put pastors on pedestals that's impossible to live on. See, because when I see a fine woman, a good looking woman is a good looking woman. It don't matter that I'm gifted because as gifted as I am, I'm equally as flawed in areas of my life. Now, the only difference is when you come to see me on Sunday, you see the spirit and the power of God poured on flesh. And so you become mm -hmm. enamored with the gift, even though I still might be developing in my character. So my gift could be amazing and my character could be under development. And so as you're dating me, <laughs> you're seeing my character flaws. And then you start saying, well, how is he so gifted on Sunday? And he just, and he's devil. a devil Monday through Friday. <laughs> I said devil. I said devil. No. I said devil. <laughs> what I am saying, though, is I think people have unrealistic expectations. A, a pretty woman is a pretty woman. Doesn't matter that I'm a preacher. If a woman smells good, she's okay, still Okay, so then, so then I get say. I, I get that, okay? I do get that. However, I guess, man, I was holding and hold at a greater level. Okay. Not saying that I don't understand that they are, they are men of the cloth or they're women of the cloth. I understand that, but I guess I have an expectation that is greater. Okay. Let me, but I, why would you hold me to a greater expectation than, than what you would hold yourself? That's just who I am. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, hey, let me ask you: Are you a Christian, Tony? Yes, I am. Okay, I just talk bad. Which means, oh, okay. yes, say, huh? What do you, you mean, <laughs> Roland? He act like he's surprised. Oh, well, see, that's a whole nother show. Because when you said it, Roland looked like he was astonished. <laughs> we might not have that show. Is Tony really a Christian? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm going to write it up for next week. Is <laughs> <laughs> Tony a Christian or is she past the side chick? I mean, I, mean, I didn't mean to say that. Did wow. you just say that? <laughs> don't, 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 don't worry about that. It's, it's good for, yeah, it's, it's just ratings. Don't worry. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oh my gosh, oh, you are God. too much, too much. Roland D, don't you write that down. No, we should, because here's the thing. Now, 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 Tony is offended <laughs> that the preacher's calling her at two o'clock in the morning, but right. she has her phone number and she know he a preacher. So, I didn't give so, him so, my so, phone so. number. Well, you got any yellow pages? Well, wait a minute. Well, how did, whoa, okay. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, how did he? I didn't give him my number. Well, how did he get it? How you think he got it? I have no what? idea. I mean, not, not the I church. A member of the church. Oh, the church oh, directory. Oh, my gosh. Oh, so Tony's on a referral basis. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to push the button on you. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying, y'all coming for the men of God, I got to fight back. 
if you have been referred, Did nobody to come pastor, for you. If you have been referred to the pastor, I'm just. Saying, I wasn't referred uh, to the pastor. Well, you just said, remember, look here, Pastor. You you call Tony here. This is Tony's number. See what you want. Ain't that some shit? <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be good. I'm going to so, yeah, okay. so, so let me understand. I mean, so he looked through the book. I mean, wait, how did he find your number? I mean, it was a... She was a member of the I church. I was a member of the church. And out of all the members of the church, he just flipped through there and said, okay. okay. Exactly. Own. So there's Stephanie's comment, right? She said he had all of the numbers yeah. for the members. Stephanie and I go way back. back. She no. knows. She knows all about this. Oh, she wow. knows all about this. Okay, so then Pastor, he's just going around just calling people on me about me, calling people. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Who, what, what kind of hey, look, look, we could be in church on Sunday morning, right? And I would just feel awful. It was times that, that you know, because I knew other women, you know, were really after him and they wanted, I tell him, I said, shit, that woman over there, she's a good looking woman. Go after her. She looking at you, you know? And the more I said no, the more he pursued me. We'd be sitting in church Sunday morning, right in service. Every time he was open his mouth, he'd say something about the Bible. He'd be preaching for the Bible. Sister Bree Love. And I'd be like, yeah. What? It, was to the point, okay. it, it would be question. to the point where I would almost, I know a couple of times, I know Stephanie had to hold me back. I was about to get him. Nigga, really? Okay. But was he single? Is what I'm at. Was he single? Yes, he was single. Okay, so Ooh. single. And you're single. I'm interested in you. Uh, was that wrong? She wasn't interested. Like I said. Was he I short? Was not, no. Okay, so that was a problem. Oh, Jesus. So what is the problem? Okay. <laughs> what, what was the question? I didn't hear what Roland said. What, what? I, I don't know what the problem because, I mean, okay, you said it a long like time ago. Like I said, well, first of all, I was in my 30s. Oh, that was 30s. Long okay. Okay. And well, yeah, I, I liked my life. And I was going to have to be held to a, a different standard. And half the crap that was going on in the church, I can't hold water. I don't. I don't bite my tongue. I. Don't, I don't do none of that. I had no decorum whatsoever. I knew that, but he kept after me. See, there you go. Thanks, Steph. She's not first lady material. <laughs> I'm just not. <laughs> wow. Your friend said it about you? Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. <laughs> she knows me. Well, everybody she is knows not me. first lady material. They're not. And a lot of people won't even recognize that within themselves. So question. So do you think, so, so oh, oh, go ahead, exactly what is first lady material? Good question. Good Let, question. Like, we gotta first I, 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 define that because see, I believe that a lot of a lot of the stuff that we see in church and a lot of the hurt that, that has been caused in church is because there's been a particular stigma placed on what a first lady should be. And so men who are called feel compelled to, to get something from that palette as opposed to getting exactly what it is and who it is you want. And so when, you, when, I, when I choose from the palette that I've been compelled to, and then the woman that I want or the type of woman that I desire comes into my life, you can only not be who you are for so long. And so, you know, it's important to ask this question. What defines first lady material? Okay, let me put it this way. All the women that I have seen that sit in the position as a first lady, they are, they just carry themselves like so staunt. Okay, now I'm not saying all of them do because now we're in a different time. We're talk I'm talking about, you know, uh, 25 years ago, 27 mm -hmm. years ago. Um, I saw them as wearing the dresses down to the ankle and the, the hats and, uh, that yes, sister. Yes. Yes. Pastor. Yes. I just wasn't that. Yeah. I can see a big hat on Tony. Well, well my, my wife, see it's got to get over <laughs> really? here. Oh, it won't fit over my hair. <laughs> you know, she's never worn a hat. 
This is sitting on top of your head. This is sitting on top of the head. <laughs> I think, I think that's the condition. And most of them. Right. Mm. I have a question for Tony. I have a good question for Tony. Oh, Tony, God. do you think, well, this is, this is going to be really good. This is going to tie into something bigger here. Do you think by you are doing that to that pastor or to that pastor that many years back, do you think that's the reason why you're being punished now, currently? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, <laughs> Well, no, 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 no. Because no, no. I, I know it sounds funny, but the reason why I say that is because a lot of times, no, and, and Pastor, I'm pretty sure you can. I mean, hey, I know Rose, some. I know, I know a few verses. Destiny. She was trying to play games with Mister Destiny. Because <laughs> no, that could be a sign. That could have been a sign. He could be trying to send you somebody right then and there to help clean you up and to get you right, okay. and I, you turned your I back. Don't need you turned your up. back. Well, you said I back then you went. But you said back then that you wasn't right back then and there. So back here 20 some years ago, if he was trying to help you, well, 30 some years ago, if he was trying to, uh, <laughs> trying to help you out, <laughs> he was trying to help you out, I mean, you know, I mean, I don't know, I'm just saying because again, when I talk to people nowadays, when I say, okay, so you're single, you're attractive, like what is going on? I mean, I mean, it's somebody for everybody. I'm a true believer, it's somebody for everybody. So I always got to ask these questions. Some of the ladies I know, like, well, why are you by yourself? Like, what, like, what is going on? And they tell me all the men that they have passed over. And I'm like, okay, hmm. So he got, so God probably. Oh, you're dragging. I don't know what that is, Roland D. He could have sent you a good man, but then, you know, you turn him away. And well, I think it didn't be a person. To God to deal with Tony. Tony need a man of God. I agree. I do agree. I do agree with that. I agree with that 100%. Wait, how much of a man of God? Because an ordinary man ain't going to do dealing with Tony. Exactly. He needs right. No, I don't need no ordinary man. That's got some patience, that's got an anointing to deal with all of the stuff Tony Breed love. Why it got to be like drawn out in the all? (laughs) (laughs) Why you got (laughs) to, why it got to be all the things? Okay, Tony, how long have you been single? Huh, good question. <laughs> you know what, Roland D? <laughs> I know as long as I've known you, and I've known you, I think I've known you about seven or eight years. I've been known about nine, eight, nine, ten. I know eight. I've been known about seven or eight, and I ain't seen Tony with a man in eight years. <laughs> I'm just saying. Shut up, Yvonne. We might, <laughs> we might need to go to the church. So that, that's a good idea, Tony, because um, before Yvonne made, when first made her comment, I was, that's what I wrote down. I was saying, maybe if you go to church on Sundays, maybe that might be a start. You know, just fellowship with people in the Vegas area, find a good church home, and cause that's a start. Because like Pastor Ray said, he made a very valid point. I mean, it's, there, are men for, there are men first. And I say that to say not all the men in the church are going to be saints. They're there for the same reason you're there, to get the spirit, to get the word, and to be cleansed. So I think that is a real start. And I am going to write that down as something that we need to focus on for you. So um, let me see. No, because I, I want to help. I want to help. I want to help. This is starting to sound like an intervention. <laughs> well, it is. Well, here's the, here's the, you only Go back to Yvonne for a moment. Right. Yvonne, when, okay, you were dating, okay. when you were dating the minister, did y'all have fun? Yes, we did. Did you enjoy yourself? <laughs> yes, I did. Did y'all go out on dates? Yes, we did. did oh, my dinner? goodness. <laughs> did I what? Did you have dinner? Yes. Did you go to the movies? Yes. Did he oh, call wow. you? Did he what? Did, did, did he call you and you guys converse? Yes. Oh, my so God. Was, you had a pretty decent dating Thank experience. you. Oh, my God. Minus goodness. the fact that he was a man of the clergy. Exactly. He was a man. That so happened. what happened in this scenario? <laughs> when, when, when That's you, what I want to know. When you get to a place where you want a confidant, when you want companionship, when you want engagement and it, and if it leads to marriage and you want intimacy do you look at him as being a man of god first or do you look at the man being able to meet your needs you know what and that's you know good what? because you know um this this gentleman that i was i was seeing he was so compassionate he was i mean he was 
he he was something that I was looking for, and we were just friends. This is what started the relationship part. I mean, he treated my he treated my kids better than their dad treated. Them. So, it okay. Was... Roland got Wait. over there. Uh, Wait. <laughs> so Stephanie asked the question, but oh, but this is for for back. How do you respect the man, this minister or pastor, on Sunday morning after ooh. you sleep with him? Oh, that's good. Well, 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 I didn't I sleep good. with him. Now, 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 now. Well, you know what? Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're going yeah. We're going since, 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 since they all took it there, let's just go there. We're, now, she has a question. How do you respect this man Sunday morning after sleeping with him? I'm not justifying his behavior, but this is what I would say. The same way you look yourself in the mirror and respect yourself after you slept with him, knowing he was a man of God, and now you enjoy <gasps> God. The same way. The same way you stand before God as a fornicator, <laughs> just as he is, and you feel like God can forgive you and you respect yourself the same way. Because how did you get naked, have a sexual act, do everything you wanted to do with the man of God, and now on Sunday morning, he's the only one that should be demonized. Oh, I like that. I, I, I like that. 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 <laughs> that was I like that. I mean, I like that. The same way, because the same God he's preaching is the same God you claim to you profess to love and follow. The same sin he's committed, you've also committed. So now, how is it that you get up as a woman? And you have given your body to a man who is a man of the cloth and should be held to a higher standard, and yet you lived a low life with him last night. How do you respect your? That's right. And I'm gonna say that. thank you, sis, for saying that because that's why I did not want to. Hmm. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> what? What makes what makes him more valuable than you? Now, see, you point the finger at the preacher, but you devalued yourself. Bruh. No, I no, I I, well, no, I kept the value for myself. Slept with the pastor, and and went Sunday morning. Now you was his concubine Saturday night. Now you self righteous. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No, no, no offense <laughs> intended, but if we gonna keep it one hundred, let's keep it one hundred. Yeah, that's real talk. See, because, yeah, yeah, that's, that's real talk he right there. there. By himself, he was there with you. That's right. All right now. I can't sit up there and watch him preach after what we did. Well, let me ask you a question. Did you keep doing it? <laughs> no, anybody. Oh. No, that's just anybody. That's oh. Vaughn. The, the question no. was, young lady, is how would you respect him as a man of God? The same way you look yourself mm -hmm. in the mirror and respect, respect yourself as a woman. No, I, yeah. I think what was, no, she said, um, no, what she was responding to was something we had said prior. And it was about me um, not getting with that pastor. Okay, well, the same answer, the same. And well, how could I respect him if I did end up sleeping with him? And that's why I oh, think okay. we well, the same ended answer. up on that. Same answer. Yeah, so it still applies. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I'm not condoning his behavior. I'm not right. saying his behavior is right. I am saying that we're very quick to, uh, when, when, the, when the preacher has had an affair, when the preacher has a baby outside of his marriage, when the preacher's having orgies and doing all this other stuff, the preacher is the one attacked, and we forget that he was doing it with another believer. Mm. And I can mm. tell you firsthand from experience, oftentimes you're minding your business, living for God, trying to keep yourself together, and it's not the preacher that's pursuing. What you talking so, about, Willis? Okay, let me explain. I'm sitting in church, um, the, the, at, at one of the churches... I passed it after a Wednesday night Bible study because there were too many <laughs> Sunday. I couldn't talk to everybody on Sunday. But what I would do is on Wednesday nights after Bible study, I would sit at the front of the uh, sanctuary and anyone who wanted to talk, I would talk to anybody and everybody for, for however long it took without them having to schedule a meeting. Okay. I've, phone number slid to me. I've had panties slid to me. <laughs> I've had women. I, 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 I'm 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 I've had women <laughs> say, God bless you, Pastor. I love you. I've had women say to me that one woman shouldn't handle all of this. And, 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 and so I'm saying to myself now, hmm, I had one woman call me and said, you know, 
Superhead has nothing on me. And I said to her, you know, that changes the dynamic of our conversation because you're calling me your pastor. And in the next breath, you're telling me that you could bless me better than Superhead. So we often talk about the preacher. But here's the key. The preacher can't be a freak with somebody who, who ain't freaky. So which there means, you go. So which means we have to, one, respect the men of God and hold them to a higher standard and also not tempt them. See, it's one thing for me to fall. It's another thing for you to put a banana peel in my path. But wait a minute. Yeah. But wait a minute. But wait a minute. Just a minute ago, you said that why would I put a man of God on a on a higher plane or higher pedestal when Good. he's Let's just a man? Explain what I mean by that. Why would you hold me to a higher level of 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 of, of, of expectation than you would yourself? And what I'm saying is reverence. Why not reverence the man of God and have enough reverence? for the office in which he holds because that's the standard by which you judge him after he or she has a misdeed. So when you say the man of God is fornicating, but you're a fornicator and the same True. God have to answer to, you have to answer to. So what makes me any more accountable to God than you? Because though I preach the gospel, you should also be living it. Hmm. So when we get together, and you giving it to me, and I'm giving it to you, you think God looks and says, now, you know, one of them has a greater sin than the other. <laughs> <laughs> He's turned off by the whole act. <laughs> now, the Bible does talk about when, when, when men of God mislead, when men of God exploit, and when men of God bruise the, the, the people of God, God right. gives them a more severe consequence. Right. That's altogether different than an individual having their vulnerabilities and their weaknesses exploited. Okay. See, if you take me in a church and put 1,500 women in front of me and I'm, I'm, I'm holding myself and I'm good to go, but, 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 but they're there to see me. Now, now you know, you just got to go with me here. So I don't take for granted anymore. I used to when I, was, when, when I first started. I don't take for granted that everybody comes to church is coming for the word. True. There's some women coming to church waiting to see if me and the yes, wife the pastor. Argument and I need to talk to pastor. There's some women who are coming waiting to see if my wife's going to fall over because I want to be next. And then there's some women who come to church and say, you know, if I get close enough to him, I can put my tongue in his ear. And if he don't say nothing, then I know I can go further. Now, the reason I can say all of this is all of this has happened. And, and, and I've been fortunate to be able to stand my ground and I can honestly say, and I take great pride in saying this, not arrogance, but pride. There's not a woman out there that can say she, she, she's she been with me and, and be telling the truth and it'd be true. It, 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 it just can't, it, it won't happen. And all the years I've been in ministry, I've slept with one woman, one. And I've just recreated who she is when I needed something different. But that one I'm married to, you follow me? Now that, okay, that, that, I'm that, so that, glad that, you said that. So, I'm rock, I was so just, glad you said that. Yeah, that woman what you just woman. said, what you that. just said was that you recreated her. Exactly. Yeah. When I need a blonde, I go get a wig. When I need a stripper, I went and bought a pole. We put it in the bedroom. You understand? Pastor. And I'm the man of God. Because here's Pastor. The, the Bible says that sex. You is just good. missed what I was trying to tell you. Say what? He's a man first, Tony. Remember he told you that. I, so, 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 why am I sharing this? Because some some young preacher out there who's starting, who forgot that he was a man, because people clapped for him and told him how awesome and great he was, and the devil's gonna come for him one day, and the devil's gonna come for his marriage one day, and the enemy's gonna come for his character and his integrity, and he needs to hear someone who's been in the game for a short while. I, I can't say I've been in long, but I've been in longer than than, than some young cats. Your day is going to come, and the moment that you think that you're exempt, you're in trouble. See, the difference between me and a lot of other guys is I understand who I am. I have never had an issue with drinking. I've never had an issue with drugs, but I have had issues with women. So there are certain circumstances that I don't put myself in because I understand the, the, you know, the propensity that I have to look in a particular way. If we begin to own that, and if we begin to be real with that, then it's okay for me to say, you know what? I'm a single pastor. I like Sister Breedlove. I'd like to date Sister Breedlove. 
I didn't say fornicate with Sister Breela, but I am interested in dating her. Why? Because she looks good to me. Why? Because I find her attractive. Why? Because one day I, I would hope that if she likes me like I like her, I'm going to hit that once we so, met. So, uh, once we met. So, so, so I can consider myself as the person that saved this man. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope not. Hopefully Jesus <laughs> saved him. <laughs> I was a part of being the person that saved him. I saved him. Oh, okay. I, I saved him from a life of destitute when it comes to God. I say no. Okay. Can we all agree? Can I get an amen? I can't go with that because she got <laughs> him. You could have also <laughs> saved him. What? If you had married him, end result would have been the same. Okay, see. Christy, I've said no. this a billion times. Tony don't want a man. Tony wants somebody to play with. I'll come to that conclusion too a little bit. Mm. Tony really uh, needs, you know what Tony needs? Tony just really needs a Rottweiler. She needs a big pet. <laughs> Serious? a Rottweiler. Serious? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> You know what? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that. So when I go out here and find a pet, I'm going to say, Pastor told me I needed a pet. So I'm following what the man of God told me. Don't, don't you tell nobody that. <laughs> go up to Tony's house and she got a big pet named Bruce. Girl, Bruce is home. Who's Bruce? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell him, because Pastor Ray said I needed you. <laughs> So go over there and sit down. See? <laughs> roll hey, hey, roll it, roll it. You see how you see how easy that rolls off her tongue? Now go sit down. <laughs> go, go do this. Right. Pastor Ray said I needed you. I don't really want no man, but Pastor Ray said I needed something. So go sit down. That's why she ain't got no man. She wants somebody, she wants someone to play with. That's not true. That's not true. I don't now, have time. I know some good ministers who could make a good pastor to, to Lady Breed Love. <laughs> That's what's up. Stop whistling, Roller G. So, okay. Lady Breedlove, I, I believe she could head up the women's ministry. Uh, and, and, and right. And that's I something she could take. Yeah. She could go to funerals. I believe she could she could help host revivals. I go yeah. to funerals now. Well, no, Tony, I mean, I mean, that might be something you can look at. Again, like I said, maybe on Sundays, you know, you start scouting around. This is the kind of church you want to just go visit. I'll say do it in like a, a two-month period. Each Sunday, just pick a church. In the Vegas area, you want to go visit, just go check it out, and you find somewhere comfortable and make that your church home and get involved in that church and get involved in the ministry, get involved in the programs they have there. I mean, that could be something you do in your pastime. You're maybe not working, maybe Bible study on Tuesdays nights. And just do something I got different. real world news on Tuesday nights. Well, okay. well, you gotta, you well gotta, gotta, if they're on vacation, I mean, you then, God, or do you want real world news? Now, thank, you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Right. You can be the new real world news. Okay, so right. Yvonne. <laughs> it'll make real world, it'll make real world news. <laughs> Yvonne ain't saying nothing. Hey, no, no, Yvonne is not saying a word. Yvonne got a right in the, the car lot. Yvonne said I was getting ministry, getting my money, <laughs> and my man, and still didn't get married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Now that last part is another story, so we won't go there. Oh. Oh wow. Was oh he really? Wow. Why? Was he mad? Uh, no, this ain't got nothing to do with what what the topic is. Really? Well, 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 well you know, because with, if you, the question well, with the topic, well, see, when Roland was putting the show together, it was would you date a man of God and i.e. would you also date a married man of God? No, no. Oh, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Look, the church folks see this and will lose their mind. I am joking. It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. Oh my gosh. But so, can I ask a question? If, if I'm a man of God, is it wrong for me to want a date? Say it again? No. Okay, now that being said, would I be a creep if I chose to date? A believer in my church now no okay now i'll tell you my personal preference on that i don't think you should ever date someone you pastor i, I that's just my okay. personal i believe if you're pastoring and she's in your church you need to find a girlfriend outside of your church 
You should never date someone that you're pastoring. I, I can know, understand I, that. I, just I can understand why. Integrity. And, and not only that, what happens is you make it impossible for her to really date you because when you when when it's acknowledged that you are dating her, she's under such scrutiny um, because she becomes under the scrutiny that, that you're already under. Mm -hmm. And now you expose her to something that's not quite fair to her. I'm right. a firm believer. Find your girlfriend outside of your church because here's what I believe. As a shepherd, you don't screw the sheep. Yeah. <laughs> You just thought that, 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 that they could be taking it a whole lot of different ways. You know. Now, I'm not saying that it's a sin. I'm just simply saying that I wouldn't suggest it. I don't think it's wise to do so. Well, I wouldn't think you'd want to either. I mean, but well, I just well, I don't know. I I'm gonna stay out of it. How's that? Well, it's I mean, best that I stay out of it. It's an important narrative to consider, and I'll tell you why. Um, who you're attracted to is who you're attracted to. And, and if your attraction is sinu uh, sincere and genuine, I don't think any person should be penalized uh, for that. Now, I think you have to handle it properly and you can't be having, you know, um, a sexual relationship with someone you're dating within your church. But, you know, I would suggest against it. But if you're going to date someone in your church, you need to make it known that you guys are dating and that the relationship is pure so that it, it, it removes all of the, you know, I saw them together at uh, Perry Steakhouse. I wonder if they're dating. Well, you don't have to wonder. I'm going to tell you. I'm interested in her. She and I are each other. We are dating. I'm dating her exclusively. And we're looking toward where this relationship should go. And then I think you need to have enough integrity to say, now, as your pastor, I want to be transparent. And as the members of this church, I would hope that you would pray that God would, 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 would give me wisdom and that God would bless this particular relationship so that I can get the wife that I need so that I can be more balanced in my life to be a better leader to you. I think the key becomes communication and really taking the guesswork out. See, because when you do that, you silence your haters because your haters are going to say, well, he's screwing her. Well, no, I'm not. I am dating her and I'm not hiding that. And that's that's difficult to do because when you first start dating, her, you don't want to stand up before the church and tell them you're all dating. You want to you want to say that once, you know, you know that this could be going somewhere. And that's very mm -hmm. hard to do if you're dating someone in your church. I just say find your yeah. girl outside the church. And that yeah. way you show up and she your woman, there's no friction. Because you got to remember, when you have churches with sing uh, single pastors, man, let me tell you, I, I almost hate to say this because people are going to throw rocks and it's going to become the butt of one of Roland's jokes. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to that when you're single and you got a church full of women that you got a Sunday morning harem. <laughs> It can appear that way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm not saying it's true, yeah. but it can appear that way. And the moment you pick one over the rest of all of them, <sighs> that's a problem, because what's wrong with me? Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a problem. That's a problem. And I have known pastors who were single, had churches that were thriving, married a particular woman, and their church emptied out. Ooh. That's bad. Well, yeah. well, well, well it proves my point from earlier. There are certain women who go to church and they're looking for a man. They're not there for the gospel. Right. Just, like, case in point, I got saved, but when I was going to that church, I wasn't going to get saved. I was going because the church had a lot of good-looking women. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I had zoomed in on this one woman, and I, I said to myself, you know what? I got to have her. And she went to Wednesday night Bible study at this particular church. And I kept going because I wanted to bump into it because I didn't want to seem like a creep. But I, I, to be honest, I was going because I went. And so one day I went and there was a seat next to her that was empty. I sat next to her. And of course, I didn't have a Bible. And she said, would you like to look on with me? I said, I thought you'd never ask. That's what I said. <laughs> I didn't say that to her. So. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so, you know, we built a connection. We built a connection. Nothing. Right. I got a chance to date her, but we built a connection. And I went there one Wednesday night looking to close the deal, but I heard the gospel that night. And, and I'm telling you, my heart changed. And I got saved that night and never saw her again. But I, but I was going be because of a particular woman. Never slept with her, never kissed her, never touched her. But I won't lie and say that I was going for God. I wasn't. I was going because I figured she's a good church girl. It's going to take me about three months. She see me in church enough. 
I, you know, I share the Bible with her. I tell her I don't have a Bible. She's a good church girl. She's going to want me to have a Bible. She's going to buy me a Bible. She's going to check on me. I'm going to get the number. whoop de woo whoop de wah Now, everybody, this, this was years ago. And so I'm thinking, the closer I get to God, the closer I can get to her. <laughs> well, God closed Shame the deal, and I forgot about her. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. people go to church for different reasons. I'm just willing to be more honest. Well, well, that's one reason I was telling Tony to go to the church because I was saying I was feeling like if she go that route, maybe it could be like a two for one where she you know find a man and get saved and it's like all together <laughs> like, and, and it kind of comes two for one. <laughs> you better give her a coupon. church side next week come, come to my church you can get a two for one <laughs> get you a man okay. and get baptized <laughs> oh my god oh my god uh, well but, but i had people tell me that I had, I had i had a group of ladies about a year ago i invited them to my church met them out invited them to my church and they said do you have a thriving singles ministry i said well we don't really do the singles men and all of them said well you start a singles ministry yeah. Be at your church next week. Now, yeah, yeah. Now, when they said it, I said, "Oh, okay." But what do you think they were coming for? To hook up, <laughs> exactly. Oh my gosh! So oh my gosh! Comes, can you date a man who's a man of God with no integrity? That's no. About. No. Because see, you can't preach to me and sleep with me. There you go. Choose which one you want to do. Either you there want to you sleep go. with me or you want to preach to me, but you can't do both. Hmm. Thank you. <laughs> My sentiments exactly. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So we have actually come. Oh, wow. We're over. We're over this hour. So we have come to the end of the show, you guys. Pastor. <laughs> Always. A pro oh, my gosh. What a pleasure. Now, see, I got to figure out how I'm going to get you and Bishop on at the same time. Is it that room? Bishop, you can't and I don't have room, but well, I tell you what. I tell well, you, I'm, if, if y'all get Bishop Kenny, y'all won't need me. That's not true. Bishop <laughs> Kenny, I'm telling you, he, he's, he's on 800. Uh, yeah, that's what out the me is. Uh, <laughs> I thought it was 800 milligrams. <laughs> oh, it might be. You know, Bishop needs meds. <laughs> I'm telling you, Avery Kenny gonna give it to you like nobody's business. <laughs> oh my gosh, Pastor, thank you so much. Good seeing you. Gonna come back. For having me tonight. I'm hoping you'll come at, come back and sit with us. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. You'll come back when uh, I go visit a church. Yes. yes. I come back then. Be quiet, Roller D. <laughs> Look, I come back no, then. No, Pastor, we want you sooner than that. <laughs> so what you trying oh, to I'm say? <laughs> Ooh, you know, I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> oh, my God. So, so before I leave, Yvonne, now, now the minister you were dating. Oh, you, back to Yvonne. Dating? I'm sorry? When you were dating the minister, did you guys do ministry? Hmm. Uh, look at that look. Wait a minute. You got to explain. Did y'all. <laughs> did y'all. That's do why you froze. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know that question had a, had a lead up, right? To something else. Time for us to go. <laughs> All right, you guys have a good night. Thanks, <laughs> Pastor. We love you. Bye, yeah. right. oh, Pastor. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> see, you know what? I know when, see, that was all bad because Pastor got my, my, my streaming, like, behind again. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. You, know, you know that's, he's bad. He's just bad. <laughs> oh my god I enjoyed tonight's show you guys I really I enjoyed did. seeing the pastor this time instead of hearing him yeah I know it was good to have him but we're going to have to get uh, uh, non-medicated 
Bishop Kinney on. <laughs> Real soon. Real soon. Oh my gosh. Do you guys have any closing closing words? Yeah. Go ahead. Nothing? I was hoping you did because I didn't get our banner up quick enough. <laughs> Go ahead, Dean. Well, I think the show um, was a very good show. I mean, it kind of reminded me of the comments on the page. It kind of took a good turn. I mean, I didn't know how the show was going to actually go, but it took a, um, a good turn because the Pastor Ray made some good, excellent points to add to what we was already discussing. Um, I think a lot of times people do look at the title as, oh, this is a minister versus it's a man or, you know, it's a one man. You know, it just kind of jumps to conclusions, but um, a lot of great feedback. A lot of great feedback. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it was it was fun. It was it was really fun. And uh, now that I got all my business out in the street, and uh, Stephanie was like leaving Bible study, rushing home, running folks down, trying to get home to look at the show. <laughs> so I'm glad she made it safe. But I do want to thank everybody who joined us tonight. Uh, you guys, you guys are what makes us continue to do this every week. That's why we come back and we do this because you make it a lot of fun for us to do. Uh, but I do want to say at this last moment, the Hot Topics Talk Radio Network and all of the shows are sponsored by Shades of Africa in two locations in the city of Corona and in the city of Long Beach. Also sponsored by SPMG Media, Miss Gina Smith, uh, Mr. Reggie Kearney of the Urban Sentinel, and also Miss Stephanie Warren Jenkins of FBS Protection. For information regarding all of our sponsors, uh, head on over to our website at mm -hmm. hottopicstalkradio.com slash sponsors. Make sure that you follow Hot Topics Talk Radio right on Facebook, and you can get all the notifications of all of the shows. Uh, join me tomorrow night on Man to Man Radio. This is going to be an interesting show because uh, I can't even participate, you guys. And the reason why is because they are talking about uh, how to get through the first five years of your marriage. Hell, I'm trying to get through five minutes of dating. I can't get through <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so I'll be sitting behind the controls tomorrow totally. I will not comment at all tomorrow night. So join uh, Man to Man Radio, Mr. Richard Hall and Chris Smith tomorrow night at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific, 9 o'clock Central, and 10 o'clock on the East Coast. Man to Man Radio tomorrow night. It has been a blast once again with Roland D. and Miss Yvonne Baker. Uh, it felt awful being in this hot seat again. So, Roland D., come up with a topic that uh, puts that back on Yvonne. No, 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 no. Well, she was in the hot seat first. I felt good sitting over here listening, observing. Really? Yeah. Well, she was in the hot seat the first 15 minutes, uh, Tony. Then they, then they kind of shifted that, to you. Actually, that wasn't a hot seat. That was just a Q and A. So I was good with that. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. <laughs> so, you guys, come on back and join Hot Topics Talk Radio TV with me, Tony Breedlove, Roland D, and Ms. Yvonne Baker every Wednesday night at, uh, what time are we on? 8 o'clock p.m. Pacific, 10 o'clock Central, and 11 o'clock on the East Coast. Uh, also, just a precursor, we will be trying to move in the direction of going totally YouTube. Uh, and uh, we'll be letting you know when that happens. We're still in the testing modes to do that so that we can get on like pastor together with Bishop and still have all, our, all of our hosts on at the same time. So uh, we are moving in, in that direction. We'll let you know when that happens. But again, thank you so much for joining us. And I will see you. Well, I will not see you tomorrow night on Man to Man Radio. Uh, what's your name? I was about to say Ricky. Roland D. <laughs> Yvonne Baker. Love you guys to death. All right. Love you too. Thanks for a good show. Good night, everybody. Keep God first. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Have a good one. We're clear. <laughs>